Hudson Wabbies is back, bigger and better than ever. It's time to play Wabby, the all-new Crestier Lap. Now this is the show where you can spin your way to big bucks and some great prizes too. Right now, let's meet today's players. Hi, right, my name's Shami. I'm from Agora Hills, California. I have beautiful, four beautiful girls, a beautiful wife. I'm here to win some money. we like to ask here at the top of the show is very important and that question is are you ready to press your luck yeah right. Good. we're going to get things going by giving each of you one thousand dollars to start things off with you can add to that by taking your hands on the big game board that you see behind me here it has hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash prizes loaded on it including this gym car now you will need to back up the big space in round one and the car space in round three then you need to win the game in order to drive that baby on out of here Time you spend, you can have your combo by standing on a square that contains a cash value or a prize. I'll show you how that works now. Ready? Stop. There we go. A juice machine. How about that? That would be worth $150 to you. Right. Now, be careful of the dreaded whammy. Get your little baby in the and take all your cash prizes back to the hideout. Now, the strategy in this round is to take as many switches as you can. You can freeze it any time you're ready for Who would go first here? Shambi, we're going to start with you. You've got $1,000 to start with. The big board is in motion now. All right, let's get some Stop. 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 And a bookstore gift card for $400 for Maureen, down to you. Your first spin of the game. Space to an electronic organizer or an espresso maker. Which would you like, Maureen? I'll take the organizer. You got it. That organizer is worth $299. Enough to put you in second place here. And Jason, down to you, $1,000 to begin with. Let's add to that now. All right. Big bucks, no family, one vacation. Let's go. Stop at $500. Oh, 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 Sets it right. right up in the first place, Jason. All right. We have gone down the line once here. You all managed to avoid the wedding. What we're going to do now is put even more on the board in case it's a little more dangerous this next time down. Shabby would come back to you in second place with $1,400. Would you like to freeze there? Would you like to press your button? Uh, we're going, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Stop at $1,500. Shabby, there you go. Some big bucks. $2,900. Maureen, down to you. $1,299. What would you like to do? I'm going to press my luck. espresso maker you're gonna get that thing one way or the other 249 dollars is what that's worth for you 1548 that thing wants to come home with you maureen all right jason down to you 1550 dollars <laughs> currently in second place by two dollars i'm going to press your button oh, stop. stop at binoculars right. it's worth 200 dollars one thousand seven fifty. Six minutes into this game, still no whammies. The gym card is still up for grabs up there, but more whammies are coming on the board now. As we come back to you, Shopee, two thousand nine hundred dollars currently in first place. What would you like to do? We're going. We're going, baby. Let's go. Stop at a mega CG player, Shopee. That's worth two hundred thirty dollars. Three thousand one thirty is where you are now, Maureen. How about it? Third place, one thousand five forty-eight. What would you like to do? Okay. Freeze or press your luck? Stop at one thousand dollars, Maureen. Two thousand five hundred forty-eight dollars puts you in second place. Not bad, Jason. What would you like to do I'm currently in third up. place? All right. $470 brings you to a new total of $2,220. Nine spins into the game. Still no whammies. Y'all did an excellent job, but we need to put more up on the 
board now. There they are. The gym card is still up there. Somebody wants to get their hands on that gym card a little bit later on in the show. Xiaomi, we're coming back to you in first place, $3,130. What would you like to do? Three thousand one thirty. You'll take that into the final round. We can see if that's enough to give you the advantage. We come to Maureen now. Second place, two thousand five hundred forty-eight dollars. What would you like to do? I'm gonna press my luck. Stop at a houseware gift package worth two hundred fifty dollars. Maureen, two thousand seven ninety-eight. Jason, down to you. Third place, two thousand two hundred twenty dollars. What would you like to do? Oh, yeah, go. Okay. Press my luck. Enough to put you in first place now, Jason. $3,470. We come back to the top of the line. You see the Rambies making themselves present up there. Is frozen with three thousand one hundred thirty dollars currently in second place. Maureen, you've got two thousand seven ninety eight. Do you want to freeze here, or do you want to see if you can't jump into first place by pressing your button? I'm gonna have to press my button. Stop! Oh, the whammy! Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? You're out of range and money. <laughs> You went once too often, but how would you ever know, right? You're down to zero, your first whammy. You are out of this first round, certainly not out of the game. But Jason, you, sir, are very much in the game with $3,470. Currently in first place. If you freeze here, you'll have the advantage in the final round, or you can press your luck. I will freeze. You I are frozen freeze. then at the end of this first round. Maureen, a whammy, zero dollars. Shabby frozen at $3,130 in second place. And Jason, our leader for the moment, $3,470. When we come back, the question round. Don't you go anywhere. Fresh your luck. Let's get to know our players just a little bit better. And Shambi, we will start with you, sir. A very interesting name. It's very uh, exotic. Where, where is it? Uh, uh, it's originally a Swahili. It's a uh, it's product of a uh, of, uh, Irish father, uh, Irish mom, and my father uh, was from Africa. So it's uh, very interesting. And you have four kids yourself? I have four kids. Yeah. Uh, uh, girl? Yeah, no, actually, I know that. It's uh, two beautiful sons and two beautiful daughters. Good deal. Sounds like a wonderful family. Good to have you here, Shami. Noreen, you are an artist from what part of Illinois? Chicago. Of Chicago. What kind of art do you do? I do salt. Oh, excellent. Well, it's good to have a creative type here. Nice to have you. Nice to meet you. Please don't do it over there on the board. Thank you. And Jason, you have one mission and one mission only, and that is to save up enough money for a house here today, right? Not a condo, not a town. Oh, there you go. Okay. You want to show you the tickets for the whole thing. We hope you get there. Now, what we're going to do is give you all a chance to earn some spins for our final round. Of course, the more spins you earn, the better chance you have on winning the game. This is how the question round works. I will ask you a question. The first player to buzz in will answer that question, and their answer becomes one of three choices for the remaining two players. A correct buzz in answer will get you three spins, a correct multiple choice answer will get you one spin. Okay? Here comes the first question. What U.S. state would you be in if you were vacationing in the Pocono? Dombey, Florida. Is it Florida, or Pennsylvania, or Vermont? Noreen? Florida. Jason? I'll go to Florida. Nope, you'd be in Pennsylvania. You would be in Pennsylvania. No spins down the line there. Everybody stays at zero. We will move then to the next question. Here it is. Cumulus and Nimbus are both types of Dombey's. Types of what? Are they types of clouds? Types of house plants? Types of viruses. I don't want to hear that right now. Clouds. The movies Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, and The Producers were all directed by what comic genius? Jumpy again. G Wilder. Is it Gene Wilder? Mel Brooks or Neil Simon? Lori? Mel Brooks. Jason? Gene Wilder. It was Mel Brooks. Yes. Jumpy, you stay in three there. Lori, you pick up a spin, but you have two. And Jason hangs tight at 
once. It's been. Starting in the summer of 2002, the cost of U.S. first class postage stamps will be raised. Shopee? Three cents to 37 cents. From 34 cents to what? Will it be 3 cents, 37 cents, or 35 cents? Nori? 37 cents. Jason? 37 cents. It is 37. We have to go with the first thing you said there. 37 cents is the answer we were looking for. You said 3 cents. So we can't give you the spins there. But Noreen, you, however, do pick up the spin. You get one. You go to three. Jason, a spin for you. You go to two. Here's your final question. I have a chance for you to pick up a few spins. Other than hydrogen, what element do you need in order to make water? Jason, oxygen. Do you need oxygen? Carbon or iron? Shopping. Oxygen. Noreen? Yes, indeed. You need some oxygen in there. At the end of our question round, here's how it looks, players. Shopping, you get a spin there. Put you at four and take it to the final round. Noreen, you'll get another spin. You, too, will be at four. And Jason, you'll pick up three on that last question. Put you at five for our final round. And when we come back, they will take all those spins to the big board. Hopefully turn them into some big bucks. Stay right where you are. Two spins left. What would you like to do? I've got to press my luck. Stop at $1,500. Dory brings you to a new total of $3,400. Currently in second place, trailing Jason by $70. One spin remaining. If you pass that spin, it does go to Jason. We'll have to take it a little bit later on. Or if you want to press your luck, try and get yourself in the lead here, you can do that too. What would you like? Currently in first place, Shabby, we come to you. Third place with $3,130, four spins as well. Would you like to take the first one now? Oh, we're going. We're going. Let's go. Shambi. All right. Zero dollars. That's your first whammy of the game. You still have three spins. Would you like to press your luck? Let's go. Let's go. Stop at seven hundred dollars. That's a good way to start. Two spins to go. Shambi, what's it gonna be? Here we go. Stop at eight hundred dollars. One thousand five hundred dollars. Now your third total. He wants to go with his last spin. Here we go. We are going. 
$2,000 currently in third place. We are going to take a little commercial break, but when we come back, it will be all about Jason. What will he make out of those five spins? Stay there and find out. Noreen is in the lead with $4,000. Shambi is in third place with $2,000. And smack dab in the middle is Jason with $3,470 and five spins to work with. Are you ready, Jason? Yes, I Do am. Do you want to push your luck? Jason is up in front, $4,670, four spins remaining. If you pass them, Jason, they do go to Noreen. Keep that in mind. Would you like to press your luck now? I'm going to press my luck. Stop it, a leather briefcase, right. Jason, worth $745. There you go, $5,415, three spins to go. Take another? I'm going to take another. Press my luck. worth $1,290. You have two spins remaining. Again, if you pass them, they go to Noreen. You can put all the pressure on her for a while, or you can press your luck. Oh, press my luck. Stop. Right. A $500 gift certificate from the M&M store. Located right there on the strip in your hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada. You, you know what I love about that store? You can get colors of M&Ms at that store that you can't get anywhere else in the world. And quite frankly, I find that exciting. All right, Jason, what can I say? I'm an m kind of guy. Jason, you're out to $7,205. You have a big decision to make here. Before you make that decision, let me kind of recap where we are. You have Shambi in third place here with $2,000 in cash. We have Noreen in second place with $4,000. She has $3,000 in cash. A thousand of that is in your living room furniture, which you picked up on the board there. And then, Jason, you, you've got the $500 gift certificate to the M&M store. You've got a nice briefcase. You've got yourself a pool table. And you've got over $4,400 wow. in cash. Now, the dilemma you face here is that one final spin. If you choose to press your luck, you will again go to the big board. If you hit a whammy, you're down to zero, and Noreen becomes our winner. All right? Mm. Now, if you choose to press your luck and you land on anything but a whammy, things are looking pretty good for you. We'll add that to your total. You will be our winner. If you choose to pass that spin, it goes to Noreen, and everything lies on her shoulders, okay? So now, Jason, from Las Vegas, after taking a nice deep breath here, what would you like to do? Pass or press your luck? Uh, I wanted a vacation, but i got to be smart and pass it. Okay. i got to give it to her. You're really, really thinking about the down payment on that house, right? Okay, because now you're probably at condo level. If you lose it all, you're at house level. You lose it all, you're back to the condo or whatever. That's true. Okay. All right, Noreen, it's all about you. You trail Jason by $3,205. There are squares up there that can give you that much plus. Or you can get something that gives you another spin. Great prizes up there, too. Are you ready? I'm Let's ready. go. Let's <laughs> take that spin. Noreen stops at a gourmet food package worth $564. <laughs>